join us in San Juan, Puerto Rico for Caribbean Dance Sport, a World Dance Sport Series Double Points competition. Welcome to Approach the Bar with Dance Beat. In this series of episodes, I am going to discuss what happened in the pro rhythm of Manhattan Dance Sport 2022. And who better than to do a in-depth analysis of all of the finalists of this competition than Miss Lisa Howard. Lisa, how are you? I'm great, Chris. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Oh, the, the pleasure is all mine. So, I'm sure you all know, but Lisa is a former USDC Nine Dance Champion. She is a Arthur Murray studio owner. She judges Arthur Murray Cubs and a hell of a lot of NDCI Cubs. And I believe just recently, well, the last couple of years, you actually are organizing competitions as well. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, actually, last year was our first time that we have been given our own Arthur Murray competition, and it's called the Holiday Ball. It's always held in December. This year, it'll be December 8th through 11th. Um, our last year, our first year that we had it, we ended up with um, about 8,000 entries for our first one, so we were very, very excited. Um, we only found out about six months before that we had been given the competition, so it was interesting <laughs> to scramble and put it together in six months. But we did it, and this year now have been planning from the day after it ended, um, you know, up until the big day to do our second year, and we're looking forward to it very much. Well, that is fantastic. So now let's get on and see what happened at Manhattan 2022. Um, as I said, we are going to have a look at the actual pro rhythm, but is there anything that you want to uh, tell me about how, what you felt about the overall pro rhythm competition? Well, I can tell you what I felt about the overall competition in general, that okay. the quality of dancing was impeccable. The um, attention to detail from Gary and Diana in the ballroom to make it um, a very energetic, positive experience for everyone. The minute you walked in the door, you know, you see all these beautiful flags and then the chair covers that are customized. And it just added to the whole feel of the competition being on a whole nother level. It was absolutely stunning, beautiful. And the minute I walked in the door, I could feel the energy coming from the dancers. And it was exhilarating as a judge to be able to stand there and judge that quality dancing from the first heat in the morning until the end heat in the evening. And I think that that gives us um, a reminder of why we do this, you know, because it excites us as well and sometimes stresses us out. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it's a good stress because you know how much is riding on it and you know how important it is to the dancers. And so I love that feeling. And I, I think that they did they always do an impeccable job with this competition. Well, I, I'm afraid I can't disagree with you on uh, <laughs> anything there. So what we're going to do, let's jump right into the final and actually see what happened. Finishing sixth with a final analysis of six, six, five, six, six. Fellow Canadians. Yes. <laughs> Demetro and Celeste. Now, I believe that this young couple are the Arthur Murray Rhythm Smooth. And just like you were the USDC uh, Night Dance Champion, they are the Arthur Murray Night Dance Champions. Um, I actually have never seen them dance in the States so before. So this was my first the first time I ever saw them. So how, how did you feel like that they did? You know, um, they're great friends of mine, of course, because they've been in Arthur Murray their entire careers. And I love them both as people. And I've watched them, um, you know, dance with other people and now finally come together in the past couple of years. And I think that this, this couple is so talented. They have everything that it takes when it comes to the look, the technique, the style, you know, um, I, I think that they have so much potential to go even further. And I'm really excited that they have now 
branched out and started competing in the NDCA competitions. My, my thing with them, and um, we, we talk about this, you know, is that sometimes I feel that it's a little too safe. I, I think that he stands out a lot in the partnership and it, it's not that she's not talented or sensual or anything like that. I just think that sometimes we have to learn that um, you don't have to be passive in order for the sensuality to come across, you know? So I would like to see them be a little bit more assertive. I would like to see a little bit more volume from the bodies. Um, their partnership connection, I feel that it's not quite there yet. Uh, I, I sense that she looks down a lot. A lot of the, the thing for her is the internal projection. Um, so I would like to see a little bit more external and a little bit more partnership connection from them. Um, I know that she has it in her to dance with no abandon. I just want to see her like throw it all to the wind and just go for it, you know? And I, and I think that if they can tap into that, they, they will continue to grow more and more and more. Yeah, well, I, I think both of us actually judged this competition. This particular one. Yes. So, uh, as I said, I was I was interested because I'd never seen them uh, dance before. Uh, in fact, I thought they really challenged the couples above them. But <laughs> I'd never seen Celeste before, and she's a very very striking girl. The only thing that she had a lot of hair, <laughs> and it's like, you know. Of course, depression was not treated as serious as it should be. Like, I think if you're the champion, then you can start to play around with things. But uh, yeah, I don't think that there's anything wrong with changing your look. In fact, that was one of the most important things to me when I was dancing is to change my look also from the smooth to the rhythm, you know, mm -hmm. make it look completely different so that you come out and you can show different sides of yourself. No, I, I totally agree. It's just. I don't know what it is, but even when some of the Latin couples change and dance rhythm, they make themselves more casual. It's like, there's nothing casual. In my book, there's nothing casual about this. We actually have discussed how, you know, your outfit, your look really does have an effect, especially if the couples are all close. So, uh, it's I, interesting I, that you say that because. Um, I was just having a conversation with Bob Powers over the weekend and we were talking about how some of the couples, when they switch from Latin to rhythm, they think that they need all of the things on the costume to show movement and, uh, you know, whether it's fringe or frills or the hair loose or all these things to show movement. And sometimes I'm like, a sleek look does more for you, for, for us as judges, to be able to really watch the body and and determine what your dancing is like and the other things become a distraction i really really enjoyed my first introduction to this uh this couple and you know as you say if they're going to come to the us and do more events and stuff like that then they are going to be a force to be uh, reckoned with i totally agree i totally agree and i think that sometimes you know when they're in when they're in the bubble you know they are also the canadian nine dance champions and when you're in in a bubble um, it's kind of like when you're a, a big fish in a small pond and then you go to the big pond right mm -hmm. sometimes the nerves can take play and and the atmosphere you know you're not used to the atmosphere it does take a few competitions to kind of get into the groove of things and and get to a comfort level where you're like okay we've got this you know so i think that maybe they're in that phase a little bit and one or two more and they'll be they'll be right up there for they'll sure be rock they will be rocking so guys congratulations i as i say i think this must be one of your first big finals in the us and it definitely will be your last well done guys please don't go anywhere because i am going to be back with the wonderful lisa howard and we are going to continue our analysis of the pro rhythm and manhattan dance sport 20 22.